The Boeing X-32 is a concept demonstrator aircraft designed for the Joint Strike Fighter competition. This aircraft lost out to the Lockheed Martin the 10th-35 demonstrator, which was later developed into the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. In 1993, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, launched the Common Affordable Lightweight Fighter CALF, project. The goal of the project is to develop a stealth-capable design to replace all fighter and light attack aircraft. Around the same time the Joint Advanced Strike Technology JAST, project began. In 1994, the U.S. Congress ordered the two to be combined into the Joint Strike Fighter program. Many companies took part in the first phase of the project, which involved drawing up aircraft design concepts for submission to the Department of Defense. On November 16, 1996, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were awarded contracts for them to produce two concept demonstrator aircraft, CDA, each. Under the contract, the fighter is required to demonstrate conventional takeoff and landing CTOL, carrier takeoff and landing CV version, and short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL. The event is also expected to include ground demonstrations of production aircraft representative systems, such as the Preferred Weapon System concept PWSC. One major change from previous projects is the prohibition on companies using their own money to finance construction. Each country was awarded $750 million to produce their two aircraft, including avionics, software and hardware. These limitations encouraged the adoption of low-cost manufacturing and assembly techniques, and also prevented Boeing or Lockheed Martin from going bankrupt in an attempt to win this important competition. The X-32 features a delta-wing design. However, eight months after construction of the concept demonstrator aircraft, the JSF's maneuverability and payload requirements were refined at the request of the Navy and Boeing's delta-wing design. Engineers changed the design of the aircraft to a conventional slanted twin tail that reduced weight and increased agility, but it was too late to change the aircraft. They were considered sufficient to demonstrate Boeing technology. By comparison, the Lockheed plane looks like a smaller version of the F-22 Raptor stealth fighter. Boeing's internal nickname for the X-32 is Monica. Another impact of choosing a direct lift system is the size of the chin-mounted air inlet. This is necessary to supply sufficient air to the main engine, to provide the thrust required for hovering, during the zero horizontal speed phase, when the engine cannot utilize ram air pressure. The impact of this large intake is the potential for direct visibility of the compressor blades to radar. Possible mitigations include variable baffles designed to block incoming radio waves without adversely impacting airflow. Due to the X-32's heavy delta-wing design, Boeing demonstrated Stovall and supersonic flight in separate configurations, with a Stovall configuration requiring several parts to be removed from the fighter. The company says the conventional tail design does not require a separate configuration. In contrast, the Lockheed Martin the 10th-35 concept demonstrator aircraft is capable of transitioning between Stovall and supersonic configurations in mid-flight.